Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going over animated board. Animated, animated board is a scoreboard system that shows on the right hand side of the screen right, seen right there. As you can see it's pretty smart, you can do a lot of animations, a lot of cool things with it. And you can also set refresh, like, refresh rate for every line. And yeah, it's pretty good. To get the placeholders and that to work, you need to use placeholder API or even MVDW uh, placeholder API. To get them to work, we'll have to do PP, VPI eCloud download player and server. As you can see, I've already downloaded the, those. So to get and also to get, a, to get a list of things, you can do that. Then all and that'll give you a list and also show the ones you've already installed. So we'll do essentials. Then we'll just click it and it was installed. After you've done that, you have to restart the server. You cannot reload. You have to restart. So, I so we're at the config, and what we want to go, what we want to do here is just set all our scoreboards. So what we're going to do is set the title, and I'm just going to set it to something simple. Test server, and it's an animation. I don't really want to use an animation. You can adjust the speed, and you can adjust the start, and you can adjust all this. But I'm not going to use it, so I just remove it. And here, this is a line number. The bigger the number, the the more it'll be at the top. The bigger the this number it'll be, it'll be at the top. Then the lower the number, it'll be down the bottom. So this is it, and this here is a refresh rate. Refresh rate. If you don't want it to refresh, just put it to zero. I don't want it to refresh, so I'll just put that. And then I'll just put this. And at seven. At um, so it's just a straight line. Then here we'll just put at six name and we'll also put IL and for the name we'll put at player underscore name and we'll get rid of this and we'll put online at six at O I like that it doesn't even add what the fuck oops sorry for the language I didn't mean to 500 and we'll put Percent server underscore online, and then we'll just copy this and we'll place it there. And remember to change this to a lower number. And we don't want it to reload, we don't want this to refresh either. We don't want this to refresh either. We only want this and this to refresh. So that's basically it for this scoreboard. Uh, I'll show you how to do animations, animations in a minute. But for now, and also you can commands, you can just change it to whatever you want. Slash toggle, maybe reload, pause, and available boards. And that's about it. I'll now I'll show you. So now that we're in the game, we just need to reload it. And to reload it, you to APR, and it'll reload it. And as you remember, I changed the reload command, so we'll just do reload AB. And it Oh shit. I think it was AB reload, was it? Oh. Yep, AB reload, sorry. And we'll do toggle, no, slash toggle, and I'll get rid of the, that, I'll get rid of the scoreboard. And we can just do that, and we can do available. Av I can't spell. Available boards. And it'll show the available boards, and we can just do pause, oh, slash pause. And I want to pause the board so the animations won't go. And then we'll unpause it. And as you can see, the placeholders have changed and that has changed as well. Which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's just basically the basics of animated board. We'll go into, in another video, we'll go into depth and doing animations and like doing more advanced stuff. But for now, this should do. Uh, if you enjoy, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And the link for this plugin will be in the description. If you have, it, uh, have any problems, don't be scared to contact Gyrex on Spigot or on Hinescape.